Welcome to Core Data Tutorial Part 2. In this we're going to store strings in a text field in Core Data. So let's get started. You should make a master detail application from the template. Um, and then when you've done that open up the storyboard and drag in a text field. Well I just put it in the top of the, a cell in the header part. It's quite easy to do. And then once you've done that, we need to scrape in by pressing control from the text field into the code in the dot H of the master view controller. Press control, I just name, name it texty with a Y at the end, so I know it's mine. And then let's go into the actual data sheet here and change it from a time stamp to my message. And we'll change it from date to uh, a string. Then we're nearly finished. Don't worry. Don't panic. Now go into master con view control dot m. Scroll down to the last method, and there you can see timestamp just there. And I'm going to replace timestamp with my message. And then I'm going to do um, a search and replace. There's there's three timestamps in there, I think. So I just replace them all using a global search and replace. A bit dangerous, I know, but I'm like that. I'm a dangerous guy. So replace them all. And believe it or not, that's it. That's all the coding you have to do. Now, that's not hard, is it? You can't say that's um, insanely difficult. So, <laughs> right, so we just type something in the text field, tutorial, save it. It's saved even if you reboot, that will be there. Um, saved and you can delete it as well uh, it's saved in SQL Lite database and hopefully that's all you need okay that's it um, next tutorial I'm open to two suggestions so please write a comment about what the next tutorial on core data should be bye